Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel. I'm the owner here at Jesus Mr. Carpenter. And on today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to install a barn door. Now these things can be really complex, so we're gonna to try to take out some of that complexity for you. I've been doing these doors for several years now. I've learned a lot along the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and like this video, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut our header boards out of one by six material and paint those. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our track cut to length, spray the end of it with some black bumper paint to protect it. Make sure you get this kind of track, it goes together a lot easier. I like to unbox the kit, put all the different components in Ziploc bags, and then throw away all the extra boxes, and then put it all in one big box to take it to the client's house. Makes it a lot easier. All right, once we're on site, we're gonna go ahead and mark all of our studs, and then we're gonna go ahead and put on the first uh, board. And what we're looking to do here basically is just brad it in place to hold it and then screw it in with three inch screws through that first board into the studs. You'll notice that I use my speed square so that I make sure all those screws go in at the same point, one inch and I think three inch. For the header boards, I use two one by sixes. The rear one, I keep it five and a half actual. The front one, I actually ripped to five inches to have that nice little half inch reveal. And I cut the front one a uh, half inch less on both sides. So when it comes together, it gives you that cool little reveal. Gives some aesthetic interest. I'm using the speed square to mark exactly two inches up. And then I use painter's tape to mark where the hole should be. And then I pre-drill it. And then I remove the tape and that's where my lag goes. Makes it a lot easier. And as long as you hang your track piece, your header board, I'm sorry, the white header board level, and you measure exactly two inches up and put your lags in there, everything with the track should be totally level. Um, so I found that's the good combination. Uh, two inches up from the bottom of the header usually works great. And that's where you drill in for your lags. I've got uh, the track end pieces, screwing those in place, and now here I am using the grinder to smooth out the two track pieces so they come together. And now we're on to the floor mounts, pre-drill for those. These are the floor mounts I like to get. They're super smooth. Make sure you use a nice extension. Uh, the screw heads will strip if you're not careful. So now I can measure for the door height, and basically I want to be 95 and 7 eighths tall with my door, uh, and I want to mount the strap seven inches below the top edge of the door. I mean, I could do a whole video on how I accounted for this, but basically that gives me good gaps uh, below and above, and I've got to have at least you know a half inch down there to catch that wheel. And pack it up, and that's all there is to it. Made for a pretty easy job. All right, guys, so the track is all installed. You may have noticed, where's the door? Why didn't we bring the door with us? I have learned from years of experience. The best way to do these barn doors is to hang the track first, and then as you saw at the end there, measure for how big the barn door needs to be in terms of height. That way you know exactly what height to build it for. I also measure for where the straps go in relation to the top edge. They come down where on this door, I think about six and a half, seven inches. Uh, whatever the notes were on there. So this is the door, we're building it, and on our next video, we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you how this door looks when it's all stained and sealed and hanging in that space. The installation of this door will take about all of two minutes. We're gonna come back and just pretty much lay it in place. That's what makes this so easy. That's the big kicker. If you take anything away from this video, take that away. You go and you install the track, it takes about four hours or less in the client's space, then you come back about a week later with your finished doors, and pop them in place. That's the way to do these jobs. Don't try to build the door and then figure out all that math of how to hang it on the wall. I used to do that, what a headache. This is the way to do it. I hope that helps you a lot. We'll see you back here soon with these doors finished. We hope you enjoyed that video too. Like, subscribe, all that, and we'll see you soon. Take care.